for oh here Hello. Hi. Hey. Do you know the people that live next door here? Right here? Yes. Yes. We were wanting to see if we can get that lawn done for him. Oh, yeah. If he would ag agree for us to do it, we just want to make sure that we, like, get an okay from from him. And how much is that? Free. Oh, we do it for free. Free? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll ask him, but he don't mind at all. He's a cool guy. Uh, hey, uh, there's a, a couple here that um, wants to mow your front and backyard or whatever needs to be done for free. Um, but anyway, they're gonna they want to do it for nothing. We go around once a week and we find properties that look like they could use some attention um, and be mowed, and we do it for free. Okay, I mean, we have all the information and stuff, and I could probably, you know, send you guys some money. I mean, I appreciate it. No, it's for, it's free. We mow the yard for free. I guess. No, I, I appreciate it, though. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you thank, thank you, Ms. Watson. Oh, you're welcome. and we look for lawns overgrown like this and we mow them for free. Um, we was just wondering if it would be okay if we mowed your lawn for you. I would not complain. Good Lord, what, <laughs> what a blessing. I mean, that'd be, um, I mean, even just the front, because the back is like fenced down, can't afford to fix it and stuff like that, but. Let me get Susan. She's okay. she's gotta hear this. Okay. Her life. Yeah. Not here. You gotta hear this. It's not what's the matter, it's something good. Oh hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Susan. Hi, hi. I'm you Casey. Going? Good. And I'm Trish. Nice to meet you. Me too. Um I was telling your husband that we go around once a week and we find a property overgrown like this and we mow it for free. Oh, do you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I was afraid of snakes. I can't. I don't even sit out anymore. Yeah. Yeah. He got he had a stroke and he got fired from his job and he's having a hard time finding a job. Cars and hiding from the repo man. Yeah. Hey, this but... car's broken down. Oh, wow. So we've having it real hard. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't know what a blessing that would be if you could do that. So it's okay to. No regrets, please. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you don't want cut down? No. I see why she was worried about snakes being out here. Yeah, I check out these. The little snake berries. See, in our other video with the city violation, that's why I said there were little blackberries. Yes, I... <laughs> When you said it, I was actually thinking of blackberries, but they said that we could cut all these down in the front. I don't think we're going to be able to get those on the side, maybe some of it, but yeah, there's a bug crawling on you. Ooh. What is that? A roach. Oh. <laughs> I was all ready to come out and be like, yeah, it's like that because I can't afford it right now, you know. Yeah. Which is what you usually have to tell them when they stop. Yeah, it's been pretty humiliating. Uh, 52, Army veteran. Never not had a job in my life. So yeah, now all our credit's toast. Yeah. All that stuff, so. It'll get better. Yeah. It'll get better. You just gotta keep telling yourself that. Let me show you real quick, see how okay. things are. You guys are really like doing a blessing, so I mean, by all means, do it your way. Okay. By all means, thank you. You are welcome. Uh, thank you for allowing us to do the yard, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Okay. Well, I assume being in your business, you have some, but if you don't. Um, I've got a bottle of water in there. 
Oh. Just ask for it any time. Yeah. You know, um, you will be the second people to ever offer us like any kind of like refreshments or drinks. Oh, that's well, just what you do. Yeah. It's all kind of. Uh -huh. World needs more of it. I just seen you talking to somebody in a car over here in a corner, but I wasn't recording. Who was that? This guy just stopped over here and said that he just seen um, one of our videos for the first time yesterday. And he told me what video it was. And he said, it's funny as hell that now I see you here right now. <laughs> <laughs> he was with his kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Too bad we wasn't recording to get I that. Know. I was setting up everything to record and like he just came up. I just thought he was going to ask what we were doing. I didn't know he was going to say that he's seen. I was like on CJ Moy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs>
tired yet? No. <laughs> it hasn't seemed like it's been too much, but it feels like it's been a lot. That was a lot of dust, or dust in. Grass flying at you. Yeah. It's so thick, it just right back in your face. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, what have we got done so far? Um, this part of the front yard. <laughs> This part that's of about it. I mean, that's how thick it was. We still, I mean, we're only doing the front yard today, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, because he had he mentioned that with the backyard, backyard's a lot bigger, and so uh, we probably wouldn't have enough time today to get it done, or at least we wouldn't have enough time to put the attention to detail in the video, <laughs> in the video uh, if we try to get it all done in one sweep. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so I guess what we have left is we have all this right in here in front of the house. We've got the edging on the driveway to do. We have the sides of the house over here, the side of the house over here. That's not really too much, I don't think. But again, I shouldn't speak too soon because you never know. It's pretty nice when things go like how they go with this one because these aren't always the circumstances. If you've seen any of our other videos and you would know that um, sometimes it isn't so easy. <laughs> abandoned house yeah because like in these situations when we started the day today like the first one we seen no one lived there yep and so even the second one there was another one not too far from it and it was abandoned too mm -hmm. but we figured you know we wanted to get one that people were in that so we could help people but sometimes you know sometimes you can't sometimes you can't sometimes you can't <laughs> some do some don't some will some won't <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you know, sometimes you don't. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that was a commercial. I know. <laughs> Very active community. Uh, we didn't have to go up and speak with anyone though, because I mean, he walked right out as we were coming up. Well, he said that so many people have stopped here that he was just going to come out and tell us that they're they're gonna be taking care of it because he thought that they were gonna get charged because they don't have the money to pay for it you know because they're so down on our luck right now that they just didn't have the money to pay somebody so that's why he came out automatically to tell us but, you know they're gonna be taken care of here soon that's like the uh the last uh not today but the last house that we uh spoke with someone on and um what the neighbor called the guy because he was at work and he thought that we were going to charge him and I think we said free three times three yeah. times free well how much is it <laughs> give me your info and I can send you some money <laughs> give me your info how much is it it's free free f-r-e-e -E. it's free but then he turned around and said no yeah oh it's free uh-uh no, 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 no. <laughs> now, if you would put a price tag on it, I'd have thought about it. Yep. <laughs> there are some people like that. They Real. think if they're getting it for free, that the service isn't going to be any good. Oh, a palm tree. <laughs> Is that a palm tree? There. Oh, right. It's yeah. like the only one like that. Yeah. It's like, it is. It's tall. I thought it was a squirrel. <laughs> was there a squirrel? No, oh, that's what I thought you were like. <laughs> You were talking about some palm tree. <laughs> I was like, it's like the thing, squirrel. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's the cartoon. Okay, maybe I don't know. Yeah, no, you, squirrel. Squirrel. I thought you were like, this my mind was somewhere else. Yes, that's what it means, basically, because they're in a conversation and I was like, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so this area out here, I'm real familiar with it. When I was 17, I worked for a car dealership cleaning new cars, the outside of it for the, the car lot. And when I was uh, cleaning the cars and everything, I think I worked there for like six months and I got this idea in my mind at that age because I already had this idea before I ever started working that I wanted to do something where I was working 
for myself. And so this area out here and really all of Marion County, I've worked with about three or four different uh, real estate investors. So a lot of talking with people, a lot of uh, being around out in the community and helping people in certain situations, uh, just depending uh, with their home. Uh, so I'm just saying I'm real familiar with the area. Um, just being out here because um, I had the ingenious idea. This is, I don't know if this is something that you can do now, but I had this ingenious idea when I was uh, 17 that I'm working at the car dealership and I say, I'm going to go to the phone book. And yes, before like smartphones were really a big thing yes. <laughs> or the internet was as big as it is now, I'm like, I'm going to go to the phone book and see if there's any, I don't even know why I got the idea. I'm going to go to the phone book and see if there's anyone that is looking for houses. I think I might have seen a sign that said like real estate investor looking for a house or whatever. So I'm like, I'm gonna go to the phone book, see if there's anyone in the area looking for houses. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call them up on the phone and I'm gonna say, here's what I can do for you. I'll drive around, I'll find empty houses and I'll take pictures of them and I'll send you the information, the address. Um, and I think I did a little bit of research to see like if I could look up the, um, the, uh, who the owners were to see that it was vacant and maybe they lived out of state or somewhere else in the state or county so uh, a lot of things happen along the way on the journey that serve a purpose and uh, I'm glad that we're able to do what we're able to do now and that we can help out people in our community the way that we're doing so um, it, was a, it was a pretty good idea then I think because I definitely got an investor that was willing to pay me I think they were just impressed that I was the age that I was and I was willing to uh, come up with the proposition and give them something that they were actually looking for. I was thinking, what is it that this person who's buying houses, what could I take off their plate? How could I make their their job easier for them? What? How could I be of service and of some value? And I created that for myself. So uh, good memories, good experiences. Um, not too bad of a job just to drive around and find empty houses and get paid a pretty good amount of money at 17 for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's go ahead okay. and uh, see if we can't finish it up here. Well, we can do whatever we want.
kidding? It's beautiful. <laughs> we're sitting there. Yeah, I've been peeking out the window every now and then, going, "Oh wow, there's a there's land under that sea of grass." <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna get off break so we can <laughs> see the rest? <laughs> Well, again, I mean, you guys definitely knock if you need anything. And, uh, we got something for you when you're done. Okay. And when we do get back on our feet and all that, we're going to use no one but you. We do these for free, so you, you don't have to, like, pay. No, that's... You got to get back. When you do something that great and loyal to us, you got to pay it back. So when we get back on our feet, like I said, we're going to use no one but you. I've already convinced myself and my wife of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Again. You're welcome. You're welcome. This all needs, uh, we need it down through here, uh -huh. around the tree, and that little pole, uh, around all these trees, but that little pole sticking out, this reindeer sits on that, or the, the big one. So, I'll try to pull it out because I don't think it's coming out. Oh, you might be able to get it out, but I couldn't. I wasn't, I tried, and I was like, nah. Yeah. Well, over here, there is, there's some weed eating, so I might start there, get that weed eating going down through here. If you're gonna come in and cut, uh, start cutting on the trees mm -hmm. right here, then I'm gonna um, get some of that stuff right there in the front we needed. Then I'll come over and work on this. Um, the stuff that definitely is going to get cut, so like you see this green stuff closest to us that looks like it should have been the bush, not the stuff that's colorful up there, but this right here, mm -hmm. those, Outside of the yeah, those things you can probably cut all the way down that tree i'm not sure if i'm going to cut that tree down because i like those colors that are on that yeah, um, it's a pretty tree but it's pretty big doesn't it oh that weed eater what? my hand's shaking oh. from holding the weed eater but uh yeah start with these things that are around
energy work for my family. What a blessing. You don't realize how long it's been overgrown. It's a true blessing, really. Thank you. This is oh, yeah. real, guys. I went to the food oh. pantry and the, I got two bags and we can't use it all. I don't want to go sure. to waste. Yes. Oh, yeah. They give you if a church gives you something and you throw it away, it's a sin. Okay? Please oh, take it. a bunch it. of nuts, okay. vegetables and stuff in there. Absolutely. It's yeah. a bunch of fruits and vegetables and stuff. It's awesome. not much, but yeah, when you get a blessing, that, you share. I love it's peppers. It's a pittance for Good. <laughs> Stuffed peppers? Yes. Yes. I love those. Yes. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. And yeah, we still got leaf blow. But. Wow. Yeah. What a difference. And I can put my bird bath back out front and be proud of the front again once I get it. You know, my cross doesn't work anymore, but I always have it in front of my house anyway. Oh, glow in the dark. That was. It was so lovely. Yeah. But it stays in my garden anyway. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. Good. Yeah, be careful, please don't fall. <laughs> Thank you, I mean, I can't thank you enough. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. It's not too often that somebody has kindness in their heart. Yeah. Yeah. I like to give. <laughs> yeah, I'm that way. If I go to the food pantry, but I can't use, I give away because I don't let anything go to waste. Mm -hmm. You know, you're blessed to have it to yeah. go to. Mm -hmm. Other countries, they don't have food. Well, We're so happy that you like it, though. Oh, I love it, man. You don't even know <laughs> what a difference it makes. I don't have to be afraid to sit out here and enjoy some nice weather anymore with snakes. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you're welcome. it. You're welcome. I can't thank you guys enough. Now, if I can get my husband to take down my Halloween stuff. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We're done. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys for sticking around this far. Don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. We hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one. Bye.
Yeah, have you guys ever considered a TV show like one of those Home Improvement or, you know, we watch a lot of those like Buying Hawaii, Home Improvement, Do yeah. It Yourself. I mean, it's, like I said, I wouldn't know where to begin at all. I'm no techie or anything, but um, I got a feeling about it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so...